Escape in Pickens County's ended now with one inmate back behind bars. The other shot dead after deputies say he broke into a woman's home. Now the sheriff is calling that woman a hero tonight. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford is live at the Pickens County Sheriff's Office with the timeline of how this all unfolded. Nicole. Amy, 29 minutes. That's all the time that passed from the attack to a shot being fired. Now one inmate is dead, the other facing seven new charges for the short-lived prison escape. Beyond the fence, inside the Pickens County Prison sits 76 inmates. It's very rare, but it does happen occasionally. Rare that any of these 76 could escape. Uh, 2.35 to say around 2.40 this morning, a.m., two or three uh, county inmates detain Pickens County prisoners of, of an assault and overtake the detention area that they were in at that time. Sheriff Rick Clark says 32-year-old Timothy Dillon, 30-year-old Bruce McLaughlin Jr. spent the last few days creating this plan. Both of the detention officers were injured during the attack, and the two uh, inmates escape from the facility. Now on the outside, the two went separate ways. Deputies say they found Dill not far from the prison on Concord Church Road and he was taken back into custody. Just down the road on Meese Mill, a 911 call comes in. And reports that an unknown subject has kicked in her back door to the residence and that she has shot him. Deputies arrived to find the gunshot victim in prison clothes and identify him as the second escapee McLaughlin. He died after being flown to Greenville Memorial Hospital. The sheriff says the outcome is all thanks to this female homeowner for doing all she could to protect herself. And set herself up to be able to protect herself and not be harmed, killed, or raped, or whatever. She came out on the good on this end, and the other guy, the bad guy, did. Now, those two detention officers are recovering. Dill is facing seven new charges, including kidnapping, assault, battery, and strong armed robbery for this 29 minute escape. Now, the sheriff tells me they will have heightened security at the prison while the investigation continues. Now, Pickens County is hoping to open a new prison come April or May, and the sheriff hopes that will cut down on any future situations like this one from happening. We're live in Pickens County tonight, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Yeah, Nicole, we've seen escapes from this place before, and now we've had it happen again. So what do they know about how this happened so they can keep this particular scenario from happening again? Amy, the sheriff tells us that that's still all part of the investigation. They don't want to put the exact information out on how they escaped because they don't want to tip off anyone else while they work to figure out how to make the situation better going forward. All right, still work to be done there. Nicole, thank you.